In this section, we're talking about graphing equations. So let's take a look at that. Take a look at that. Take a look at some examples. So in the previous uh, video, we graphed some linear equations. Let me make sure I got the right settings here. Um, so let's do that again. <clears throat> So let's say we have y is equal to x plus 1, and we want to graph y is equal to x plus 1. Okay, so remember the first thing you want to find is either an x or a y-intercept. That's where it crosses the y-axis and where it crosses the x-axis. Okay, so the best thing to do is plug, first thing to do is plug 0 in for x, and then find what y is. So if this is the x-axis, okay, 0 is located right here, right here at the origin, okay? And of course, this would be 1 on the x-axis, and then 2, and 3. I think these were, these little squares here were increments of 0.5, All right? So we plug 0 in, okay? So we have y is equal to 0 plus 1, therefore y is equal to 1. Okay, so the point we're looking for is 0, 1. So we want to find the point 0, 1. So let's do that. So x is 0, this is 0. 0.5, and here's 1. Okay, so there's our point right there that we're looking for. Now we want to find where it crosses the x-axis. So this is where y is 0, right? y is 1, y is 2. 3, 4, but y is 0 here. I should also add y is negative 1 here, negative 1, negative 2. Okay, so y is 0, right? So this is going to be the y-intercept that we're looking for. I should note that this is our x. This is the x-intercept point right here. Okay, so the y-intercept point is what we're looking for now. So we're going to let y be 0, x plus 1, and we want to solve for x in this problem. Okay, so we got this linear equation. We want to solve for x. Let's subtract 1 from both sides. And you're left with x is equal to negative 1. So let's go over here. Let's count over negative 1, which is going to be right here. Okay, so this is where y, so let me just go ahead and label it right here. So this is where x is negative 1 and y is 0. That would be this point right here. Okay, and of course this point is 0, 1. All right, so once we find our y-intercept and our x-intercept, you want to draw, or attempt to draw it. Now see, I've got to attempt to draw a straight line that passes through these two points right here. Okay, that was an attempt anyway. So here's the line right here, okay, that represents our equation y is equal to x plus 1. Now let's actually bring up a graph so we can be more precise here. So here's the graph right here, y is equal to x plus 1. Okay, see that? This is where it crosses the y-axis and crosses the x-axis here at negative 1, 0, and at 1, 0. Okay, let's, uh, now let's just kind of play around with this. Let's look at some graphs. What happens if it was y is equal to x minus 1? So let's turn that off. Whoops. y is equal to x minus 1. Watch what happens. So you see it's the exact same line has what's called the same slope and it just got shifted downwards from the origin negative one units so you got shifted down negative one I should say got shifted down negative one all right let's take a look at a, something different what if we had this graph what is that a graph what's the equation look like now you notice the line is now descending as we go from left to right. It's descending, it's not increasing, but it's decreasing from left to right. Notice that? 
at our y values. So as our x values get larger, our y values, what, what's happening? They're getting smaller. What does that look like? I mean, what is that? It's passing through the origin. So the y-intercept is 0, 0, and the x-intercept is 0, 0. Let's take a quick look at that. Okay, let's just go ahead and clear this page. All right. Uh, let's see what's going on here. I want to write, so whatever the reason is. Hmm. Always got to be something. I don't know what the story is now. Huh. Okay, let's just go back here to here. We'll get that figured out in a minute. So I'll just tell you, this is y is equal to negative x. What if y is equal to negative x? What if we, um, this is y is equal to negative x plus 1. So what happened? It just got shifted up. Okay. All right, let's take a look at both these again. So this is y is equal to negative x. Y is equal to negative x plus 1. What happened? It got shifted upwards. See that? We added 1 to each coordinate. And it gets shifted up. All right. Let's take a look at this one here. Let's add another one. This is y is equal to negative x plus 2. Notice all these lines are parallel. They're all parallel to each other. Notice these lines are parallel. Okay. So this is really, um, when I was learning this stuff for the first time, I got the graphing calculator out. Of course, we didn't have the internet back then. I had to have a TI calculator. But um, you can, uh, this is the best way to do it. Get this calculator out and just start playing. Start playing with it. It's the best thing to do. Start making up your own equations, graphing them, and looking at their uh, behavior. That's the best thing to do. Okay. And uh, these technical difficulties, there's always got to be something. Anyway, we'll go ahead and end that uh, in the video right here. So we looked at uh, how to graph a linear equation by finding the x-intercept and the y-intercept. It was actually pretty easy. Um, we'll probably do uh, another one of those in the next one. And we're going to look at some nonlinear equations. Right? So we're going to be graphing some x squareds, x cubes, and so forth in the next video using uh, this graph here. Okay. All right. See you there.